American foods that are banned in other countries. Most Americans want to believe that the United States is the gold standard of clean food. But that belief may not hold up to scrutiny. From unsanitary practices and mass production to the addition of dangerous chemicals, countries have good reason to give the side eye to imported foods claiming to be USDA approved. That's right, this week we're talking about American foods that have been banned by other countries. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the Weird History Food channel. Then USDA approved. So they better list that cereal that turns the milk blue because it uses a chemical that other countries say causes degenerative diseases. But we say, but blue milk, oh my god, we'll see. Leave a comment and tell us what other world food facts you would like to know more about. Now let's see how wrong the rest of the world really is. Skittles! Since the dawn of Skittles, there have been rumors about the dangers of eating them. Yeah, actually we don't have this. We have Smarties, I think. Every one of them. Is that similar Smarties and Skittles? Us heard at least one classmate claim that the red ones make you sterile, and the yellow ones, they give you cancer. Turns out, it might be worse than that. First of all, your classmate wasn't wrong. The dyes known as Yellow 5 and Yellow 6 have been linked to hives and hyperactivity in children. Sweden and Norway have banned the candies out of concern. The European Union will most likely be banning Skittles at the end of the year. Oh, is it banned already? Hold on, this is like a, a month old. Uh, what? Whoa! It's like it's one. It's a one-year-old video. Is it banned? Hold on. Are Skittles banned in Europe? Not banned in Poland. The European Commission banned the, the use of titanium dioxide last year, but Skittles can still be found on shelves in Europe because the candies sold in, in these countries reportedly exclude the banned chemical. Ooh, good to know. You don't want to buy it. We have healthier batches. Those, Having yeah. already swapped out some of the dye for more natural flavors. This is because of something called titanium dioxide, which can be found making the colors pop across the rainbow. Research linked titanium dioxide to damaged DNA, which can lead to cancer. While Europe... What the fuck? Why would you put something like this in the... the food? Maybe ahead of the Skittles awareness curve, America is quickly catching up. Because healthier, healthier alternatives are more expensive. God, I, 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 I genuinely, I can't. Come on. It's, why is everything about money? God damn it. I mean, yeah, I'm, I don't want to be naive. I understand that it's about money, but still, it's, it's just, god damn it, dude. In May of 2021, the Environmental Working Group asked the FDA to categorize titanium dioxide as toxic. And yes, before you ask, right now the FDA says it's okay to consume some of that chemical compound. You can taste the rainbow, but just in moderation. California is home to an ongoing lawsuit against Mars Inc., the parent company of Skittles. The lawsuit claims Skittles are not only toxic, but are unfit for human consumption. So maybe for now, play it safe. Just go have some Swedish fish instead. Swedish fish, that's a Swedish fish. The US is just a machine, not a real country. How is that in America? People kind of live like as if they had free healthcare. Like, but they don't. And they still have a lot of like crappy food and a cra crappy uh, ad additionals or additives, right? In the food. Like, how, how does that work? Why are you guys risking your lives? What's going on? consume fast food in tons I mean we do the same like Hungary is not really a healthy country so uh, we don't consume fast food we consume a lot of fat and unhealthy we have like our cuisine is really unhealthy <laughs> that's the thing a lot of stews full of fat a lot of uh, sausages full of fat and calories. Uh, what else? We drink a lot of beer. Yeah. 
Hungary is not really a, a healthy country, but we don't eat this kind of junk. It's interesting anyways. It's different. It's different to have homemade fat stuff and fast food from restaurant with month old oil. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I am not sure how different it is. It sounds like it's good, yeah, sure. But like uh, people still go to like grocery stores and buy the things that are like, full of additives. Right. Bread. Ever looked at a piece of crusty French baguette, be it in cartoon or in real life? But let's be honest, it was probably in the hands of Pepe Le Pew. And think, I can't make a sandwich with that. As great as we talk about the invention of sliced bread, a lot of European countries have actually... Like, don't get me wrong, I don't want to shit on America for, for having their own specific foods. It's, it's, it's completely fine, like, whatever, right? It's just interesting how, how these are not regulated. Like... Come on. Like, come, come on, regulate, regulate. Just like, you want healthy citizens, right? Or do you not? And much of what you'd find on America's wide, wide grocer shelves. It's like toast breads, right? Or different to toast breads, basically. That's because we make a lot of our bread, not just with grain, but with a variety snack packs worth of additives. Like azodicarbonamide, for example, which helps bleach. Hold on, I kind of lost it. You've been drinking good bleaching flour. Yeah, what the fuck? Let's go. I'm gonna drink as well. I have champagne, uh, non-alcoholic because I, I'm 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 taking meth, so I, I didn't want to risk it. Additives like azodicarbonamide, for example, which helps bleach flour and strengthen dough. Fun fact about azodicarbonamide, it's also used in a spectrum of industrial products, including yoga mats. Mmm, downward dogs. The Euro what? The European Union is really against the idea of its citizens eating yoga mat material and has banned their use in food products. Do you guys not want to eat yoga mats? Like, how come you, how come you deny eating that? Or what? Pork, the other white meat, is a staple of American meats along with chicken, fish, and beef. From bacon to ham, hot dogs to pork chops, American meat eaters consume about 67 pounds of pig per person every year. How many? American meat eaters consume about 67 pounds of pig per person. 67 pounds of pig? That's like... 30, 30 kilograms of pork meat? 30 kilograms of pork meat? Per year? 31, okay, 31. Fuck, oh, that's a lot of pork. Oh my god. One kilogram a month. No. No, actually, that's... Uh, no, it's three kilograms a month. That's a lot of pork meat. What the hell, dude? Holy hell. <laughs> that's a lot of that's a lot of pork there <laughs> I, I don't have any any problem with with the pork meat i like it uh, i like beef i like pork i like beef very much but i love chicken meat as well it's uh this is this is interesting that's so much that's so much meat every year suey my heart is stopping don't get us wrong, other nations indulge in swine just as much, if not more, than Americans. So why doesn't the U.S. export scores of succulent bacon-bearing boars? Well, it turns out America adds a lot of chemicals during processing. Ractopamine in particular is used in many pig farms to raise porkier porkers. Ractopamine, which we put a dash of in a lot of foods, has been banned in 160 countries, which all consider the drug un- Excuse me, what? To raise during processing. Given during the last weeks of animals' life, speeds up animals' metabolism. Ractopamine, which we put a dash of in a lot of food, makes livestock larger and, and leaner. Has been banned in 160 countries, which all consider the drug unsafe for human consumption. This, in turn, has led to a prohibition of pork exports across the world. 
The EU hasn't touched the stuff since outlawing ractopamine in 2009. China and Russia have been ractopamine-less since 2013. Maybe that's because ractopamine has the same effects as an intoxicant on humans intoxicant? and can cause tachycardia, headaches, and muscle spasms if consumed in large enough quantities. But it is a small price to pay for a perfect piece of the pork. So every time we see some, uh, we watch a video from America uh, like featuring the, like certain steaks, and um, not that's a steak. Is it steak? Like anyway, it's like a pork pork meat like in burgers and stuff, it has this additional uh, chemical in it. Good to know. So now I will watch American food videos differently, <laughs> I think. That's crazy. Chicken? Hygiene in America often comes down to dousing stuff in a chlorine bath and calling it FDA approved. And chicken is no exception. Pathogen reduction treatments, or PRTs, refer to the use of different chemicals to destroy harmful microbes on raw meat. Somewhere along the line, American food regulation. Chicken, chickens are so heavy in America that they break the, their legs when they get old. Uh, they, uh, it's kind of similar to Hungary as well sometimes. Regulators decided a quick chlorine shot was the best way to kill salmonella and other bacteria on uncooked poultry. Mmm, mmm, chlorine marinade. And look, it's not that the EU is against taking a long gulp from the public pool now and then. In fact, the risks posed by chlorine consumption are relatively low. The bigger concern is that the chlorine baths are just an eye-burning band-aid on a larger problem. The tip of the beak, so to speak. They're worried that the PRTs are insufficient to deal with more than just the normal bacteria and don't get at a potential contamination from things like low-quality feed to unsanitary coops on farms. The EU called the chlorine rinse an easy fix, arguing no chemical rinse will ever remove all bacteria from meat heavily contaminated as a result. If you didn't know, chlorine can make your, your whole body bleed from inside. Yeah, thank you. Uh, this is the, 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 the missing info that I didn't have. Best, best thing to do with these videos, though, is to take the chemicals, etc. They mention it and look up the actual scientific papers. They're far less hyperbolic, yet true. True, true, true. Have any continued as a result? Poor, poor hygiene. hygiene. That hurts extra to hear it from the French. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew is the closest any soft drink. Yeah, actually, anything can kill you, right? Literally, anything can kill you. Uh, what matters is the quantity, right? If it's too much, it will kill you. It does not matter what it is, <laughs> right? So, yeah, of course, but but still, like, um, maybe it's just because of mass production, and you need to figure out certain ways to to lower the price of production. I guess that's the that's the reason why we have to deal with these chemicals in the stuff. But but still, goddamn, I I, I still don't, I still don't like the fact that uh, we have so many different additives, right? That's the whole nuance. And increase yields, yeah. There's so many people to feed. Yeah, one lawsuit made me never drink Mountain Dew, not even a small amount. Wow. Uh, and those chemicals and everything are no joke. And with the, the amount of food that they consume, it's probably really toxic, yeah. So, dust is right, yeah, sure. Uh, but it's still, it's just like... Yeah, I, 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 we, we need better alternatives. Healthier alternatives, I guess. I don't know. Because it's not only greed of the of the major companies, right? It's actually, there are masses that you need to feed. Someone tried to sue claiming there was a mouse, but they proved that the flesh couldn't survive in the time frame of the, can, of the, of the canning process, the time it hits the store shelves. Basically, there couldn't have been a rat. It would have dissolved. <laughs> oh my god. To be frank, uh, MD looks like toxic waste. Mountain Dew looks like toxic uh, waste by color. 
What the hell? Someone tried to sue claiming there was a mouse in the Mountain Dew, but they proved that the Flash could not, couldn't survive in the time frame of the canning process to the time, uh, to the time it hits the store shelves. Holy f fudge. Oh my god, I get you, I get why you don't drink Mountain Dew. Well, when you have a hole where a stomach used to be, it might be a good time to switch drinks, yeah. <laughs> Hello Wolverine, nice to see you. Mountain Dew with a bit of dissolved body, yeah. You're a liar, okay, that was not a rat, okay, because that rat would have dissolved. That's how healthy our, our drink is. Um, you can put anything in it, it will dissolve. Fuck, dude. Holy hell. Drink has come to being fully weaponized. But did you know in Austria and Norway, the soda is outright banned? That's because Mountain Dew's signature Chernobyl Radiant Hue comes from Tartrazine, also known as Yellow 5. And if your ADHD hasn't kicked in yet, you'll remember that color and number from the Skittles section earlier. It's been linked to headaches, hyperactivity, and the desire to be annoying to other people. The desire to be annoying to other people. There are people who are like naturally like that. Syrupy drinks like Coca Cola and Terra are super uh, con concentrated and very acidic before they are sent to the bottling process where they are diluted. So I can accept that. Okay, sure. I'm happy to be drinking mostly water. Yeah. I have a problem with water. I don't like water. I I just I, I I just simply don't like it. I, I like when it's like uh I use uh, syrup, which is like uh, in Hungarian we call it syrup, which is like a syrup, like a, a juice syrup basically. And um, I I put some flavor in it. I just simply don't like water itself. It's just I don't like the taste of it. Uh, water, pure spirit alcohol. Let's go very clean. You, I also use syrup when I get bored of water. Yeah, same. I, I, I don't like drinking just water. Ever since I was a kid. It's just not a thing. Ironically, the qualities that make Mountain Dew a soda non gratis in other countries is exactly what the brand promotes. A frenetic, over-caffeinated lifestyle. Do the do. Baja Blast. Woo-hoo. And while you might be able to find Mountain Dew in Europe, it's going to hit a little different. That's because Europe spent exactly two years in the 90s riding the Dew before discontinuing it. What is being sold as Mountain Dew in the EU as a recipe closer to the original carbonated beverage, as created by Tennessee beverage bottlers Barney and Ollie Hartman in the 1940s. The original Mountain Dew was meant as a whiskey mixer, with a name coming from the affectionate Scottish term for moonshine. It'll tickle your innards, is what the old ads used to read. No lies detected here. Yeah! I kind of want to drink water now. <laughs> I am drinking Coca-Cola. Not Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola right now. And I'm uh, suddenly uh, reconsidering my life decisions. Mountain Dew! Little Debbie, what is that? Little Debbie has been providing Americans with comfort snack food since the 1960s, with their variety of zebra cakes, star crunches, nutty bars, fudge rounds, and cosmic brownies. But their big claim to fame, as anyone who has ever had their lunch packed by a parent can attest, is the Little Debbie Swiss Rolls, a mixture of rich chocolate cake and buttercreamy filling. Over nine... We have things like this, but not exactly this brand. 100 million cartons of Little Debbie products are... Zebra cakes are the worst. Cosmic brownies are nice. Each year, but none of those cartons go anywhere near Austria or Norway. Blame. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see the shots. None shelves. of those cartons go anywhere near Austria or Norway. So, what do we have here in Hungary? Muffins. Uh, I mean, not from them. So this brand is not in Hungary, I think. Zebra cakes leave like a waxy film in your in your mouth. Oh. Oh. 
Thank you for making me want to taste it. Haven't seen any of those in Poland. Yeah. I, I have never seen this brand before, I think. Hold on. But I, I, I'm checking if we have things like this or like these um, in Hungary. We have... I think we have these. But not in a box. It's just like these are like separate bars that you can buy we have this i can't deal with anything that's sugary it's just offensive <laughs> really actually guys i went to the store today to buy a lot of shit and i bought uh some chocolate some chips some other snackies very healthy my wife loves honey buns they're basically donuts uh, honey buns. Oh, yeah. We don't have this, I think. I've never seen it. We have donuts, basically, but not, 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 so they're not boxed like this. So we, we don't really have, we have this, I think, but still not in a box. It's just like in a, in a, in a plastic bag, usually. Savory snacks with a little bit of sweet. Oh. I love savory uh, savory snacks as well, but a lot of times I'm like, what? What am I feeling? Right? This is a question. Like, what do I want to eat? It depends. Like, sometimes I want to eat something sweet. Sometimes I want to eat something savory. Uh, I always have full shelf sweets from holidays because boyfriend family gives us ton, ton, and we never eat them. Lol. Looking at the picture, it's definitely the most popular at whatever store that is as well. Ah. Oh. So we don't have these, I think. We don't really have these in Hungary at all. Oh, this is like Oreo a little bit, right? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I think we have this. Yeah, with different brands. Blame those rascally additives, yellow five and red 40. Swiss rolls contain it's always the yellow of dye per product and in those quantities they've been a favorite to have color an effect it. on children and we're not just talking about causing hyperactivity although one study found that cutting all artificial food coloring from diets may be one half as effective as prescribing kids Ritalin and while we can't prove there's a direct connection between artificial food coloring and cancer they do cause damage to white blood cells causing them to mutate after only three hours exposure to these dyes after only three hours? That means that you do not need to eat that much of it, right? If it's only three hours. Wow, that's, that's actually crazy. Degeneration to DNA. Yeah, but in three hours? Three? That's a, that's a holy fuck moment. Why remove cab? Why do you remove crap from food when you can sell more pills? Yeah, true. But the government is like, eat up, kids. Yeah, it's healthy. Could cause tumor cells to multiply way more rapidly. For that reason, researchers say a high chronic intake of food colorings throughout the entire life is not advisable. <laughs> what the fuck? A high chronic intake hold on, hold on. of food cells to multiply way more rapidly. For that reason, researchers say... Researchers say, listen to what researchers say. A high chronic intake of food colorings throughout the entire life is not advisable. You need to be a researcher to, to, to have this, right? To, to, to know this. To have this idea of not, of not eating food coloring that much. That's, oh my God. Uh, aren't they currently uh, saying that sugar-filled cereal is better than eating an egg? Uh, I heard something about that, yeah. If only they weren't so delicious. Surprisingly, you can buy Little Debbie Swiss roll. You know what I actually heard about American uh, sweets is that they are really sweet. They put a lot of sugar into everything compared to the compared to European sweets. European sweets are not, especially in in Hungary. In Hungary, when you eat like eat like a chocolate bar, it's it's very chocolatey, if, if that makes any sense, <laughs> or if, if that makes sense, like compared to American food, which is like you eat the chocolate bar and it's like 
you're you're biting pure sugar it feels like you're just biting sugar it's super super sweet uh some states are pro eggs some are anti eggs what what's wrong with eggs it's just protein i don't understand that that sounds so dumb being pro and against it. yeah it's just i've just bought 20 eggs today and i ate three of them started buying ketchup with 35 to 50 percent less sugar tastes so this yeah of course it tastes much better because you can feel the everything else the spice right the potato ketchup has a lot of sugar yes yeah uh there has been commercials here that change every couple of years eggs are bad for you eggs are great eggs are a great way to start your day oh my god in the e all i know is that my ancestors used to eat a lot of eggs and milk from the animals that they had right on farms and they they were healthy so well, that's good instead of blaming the constant fast food the usda tried to say eggs are why our average cholesterol is high. oh my god that's so stupid though god damn it i'm gonna go eat my ginger cookies being happy i'm not <laughs> I am pretty sure that Americans still have a lot of options to eat good food. So this is just, uh, we, are, we are basically watching those foods that are not too high quality, I guess, right? I am, I am, yeah, 100% uh, certain that if you want to eat healthy in America, you can do that. It's just that this is the, I don't know. Uh, it's just a cheap uh, alternative. Only if you are well off. What does that mean? Most of us don't have option to eat health. Really? Pretty sure that anything has at least some sugar in it. What do you mean most of you don't have the option to eat healthy? What about... Uh, what about like vegetables and stuff and fruit it's super ex expensive to get real food really wow okay i mean in hungary food is i in my opinion compared to uh like the average income of people uh, it's kind of expensive, I think. But it's crazy that you're saying that it's super, super expensive, you said. Get real food. What do you mean by real food? Like uh, vegetables and fruit and, and stuff like that? I'd say concerning food, they're between a rock and a hard place. GMO stuff on, on the one side and stuff overloaded with the chemicals on the other. Oh, oh, great. We can get the, the watered-down versions of fruits and veggies as they genetically alter them to be bigger and have more water content and less nutrition. Oh, okay. Actually, I watched the video about uh, food waste. Saturday Night Live, maybe? Uh, I don't know what it was. No, not, not Saturday Night Live. That's different. Oh, it was about food waste. And... Um, how they selected actually we can watch that one as well that's a really interesting one how they sell how they uh have requirements for uh for the different fruits right like how they have to look at what a peach uh, should look like and they can put uh, only the perfect the most perfect most perfect the perfect peaches on the on the shelves and everything else even if it has a tiny little flaw on on its skin but nothing else but it's just like deformed in uh, yeah, just a tiny bit it gets thrown away i heard lots of country side uh, lots of countryside families have to grow their own stuff to actually have anything healthy wow let's make food bigger through additives what could go wrong people suddenly also getting bigger and sick yeah god damn it this does not sound good. Let's continue the video. You, but they come with warning labels advising parents of the potential dangers to kids. Surgeon General's warning. 
Smoking causes lung cancer, heart disease. I can't read that. Emphysema, I don't know. And may complicate pregnancy. You know, like cigarettes. Oh, it's just a, okay, that was just a joke. Special K, Kellogg's. When you hear the words banned breakfast cereal, you're probably imagining one of the countless kid-focused brands of sugary morsels, like the oh-so-delicious Cookie Crisp. So you Can might be surprised this? to learn that it's actually Special K, the most boring cereal on all of the earth, that has been banned in Denmark and discouraged in the EU. How does the healthiest box of flakes on the shelf get banned? While stuff like Reese's Puffs and Cinnamon Toast Crunch continue... The hell, you, he said healthiest the healthiest... Box of flakes on the how does the healthiest box of flakes yeah. shelf get banned? While stuff like Reese's Puffs and Cinnamon Toast Crunch continue to enjoy free passage. Ironically, because of its supposed health benefits. In the UK, Special K has been put on blast by the Advertising Standards Authority for exaggerating how much folic acid they pack into portions. Though it's still legal to buy in Europe, Denmark has completely banned Special K since 2004 for all its fortified vitamins and minerals. Regulators argue that Kellogg's cereal's unnaturally high levels of everything from vitamin A to zinc actually qualify Special K as a genetically modified organism, or GMO. More specifically, Special K is swole with the same artificial compounds that studies have shown to potentially pose health risks, specifically to children and pregnant women. In conclusion, you may want to stick with crunch berries. The so hold on, did I, did I understand it well that it's just, the problem is that it's, it has too much? Too, too many different vitamins and too much of them. Exaggerating how much folic acid they pack into. I mean, it's suspiciously much. It has also the wrong type of iron in it. Uh, it's not the kind of it's not the kind we absorb. It's like putting iron fillings. Um. Uh, into the cereal, probably too much fake. Exaggerating how yeah, much okay. folic acid they pack into portions. Though it's still legal to buy in Europe, Denmark has completely banned Special K since 2004 for all its That's fortified vitamins and minerals. Regulators argue that Kellogg's cereal's unnaturally high levels of everything from vitamin A to zinc actually qualify Special K as a genetically modified organism. Compounds that studies have shown to potentially right. pose health risks, specifically to children and pregnant women. In just a quick question, Mario, do you want to keep the category on Dark Souls? Yeah, sure, because we're going back soon. Yeah, I, I don't mind it <laughs> to be in Dark Souls. Whatever. In conclusion, you may want to stick with Crunch Berries. Steak. What? American steak? I mean, I guess they're the same reason. It's like full of chemicals, yet again. You don't need to take a transcontinental flight to visit countries that have banned American foods. Just drive up to the Canadian border, flash your passport, and sign an affidavit saying you're not smuggling any steak tartare in your trunk. Today, consuming raw meat has fallen out of fashion in the US, much like other foods like... Yeah, and that's all, yes. Dark Souls fans will love this video anyways. <laughs> Hello, Walter. As long as she doesn't start throwing food at the enemies, everything will be fine here. <laughs> nice to see you, Walter, as well. What's up, what's up? So what's what, what much like other foods like we uh, play the which don't make you da 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 veal and pate which don't make pate. you sick but might make you sad but while baby cow and overstuffed goose liver is illegal in parts of America now tartar is not see while veal and pate may be uncool they are also served hot unlike tartar which is chopped up cold meat straight from the cow. Undercooked or raw foods can lead to an increase in food poisoning and parasitic infection. I mean, this is generally true. We don't need uh, it to be American. Like, if it's undercooked or, like, left out for a longer period of time, it, you, and it's, uh, it's like raw food, you don't want to eat that. This is just, it's common sense, right? Happy New Year, Walter. Nice Christian people. <laughs> It gives me the ick, yeah. Especially in beef and poultry. But considering how fancy pants steak tartare is, titanic food one might say, you'd think countries might look the other way and let the luxury delicacy slide. And for a long time they did. 
in Canada, meat has to reach an internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit, the equivalent of a medium rare steak, in order to be considered safe to serve. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why I'm kind of afraid of tartare. Uh, I, I don't like eating it. And also, uh, how, how are the steaks? Hold on. Medium, rare, well, oh, what are the, the different versions of the steaks? I never know that. You mean raw meat or raw meat like sushi or tartare beef steak? Sushi, sushi is, I don't know. Uh, if it's kept safely, it's pretty good. If you leave it out, oh, it can make you very sick. Yeah, rare, mid, medium, and well done. Yeah, true, true, true. Uh, so that's my problem with rare, rare steaks. It's like, uh, I, I like when it's at least medium. Tartar, blue, rare, mid, rare, mid, mid, well, well, and burnt. <laughs> yeah, my favorite is burnt. Because I'm afraid. Uh, I'm, I'm also kind of afraid of like eating raw meat. It's just, uh, it's scary. Rare steak is not good. You should upgrade it to epic at least. But yeah, those true. Rules aren't strictly enforced. That is until recently. In 2021, restaurant owners in New Brunswick selling steak tartare were all served cease and desist letters. Canadian public health officials had decided that amid the ongoing health crisis of COVID-19, the last thing their citizens needed was a side order of botulism. It, what? Coca-Cola? Like, is it OG Coca-Cola? I am, I'm curious. Coca-Cola is banned? What kind of Coca-Cola is banned? Because it's like everywhere. Coca-Cola is like a world, worldwide brand. Uh, raw fish is okay. Raw fish is okay, but avoid it too. Most of the time, all of the raw meat gives me ick. Okay. It's slick, cold in texture, gives me awful sensation. Yeah. Fresh bread roll, a little bit of butter, salt, pepper, chopped onions, and some pickles on top. Eating raw meat for over 40 years, never been sick from it. Okay. You're, you're good at dealing with, um, like, hygienic issues. I guess that's 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 awesome, and I would trust you. I would I would definitely taste your food, <laughs> Wolverine. Plus, you're paranoid about worms. Oh, I have a terrible story about my my dad. My dad used to have. Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna share this story on stream. No, no way. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I was really mad at my dad back then. Oh God. So when it burns. When it turns brown, it loses all its flavor. Yeah. Even if it's it isn't bad, it should be. It's very bad for you. Share. Should I really share the story? I'm not sure if I want to. It's. Uh... You know what? Fuck. Fuck it. I'm gonna share it. So my dad is. Uh... He's not really the best at hygienic um, aspects of of life. Let's say that. This means that whenever he goes to the bathroom, it does not matter whether he has a... He has to like do a smaller task or a bigger task there, let's say that. He does not really like washing his hands after that. And uh, what he used to love to do though... So my mom is a really... I mean, she's not... She's not a cook, but she cooks really well. And... um. So my dad loves the food that she cooks. And we used to have these giant pots. I was like 16, I think, back then. And we used to have these giant pots because it's like it was it's a family of five, right? And so mo my mom on every uh Saturday uh or no, actually on every every Sunday she cooked a giant amount of food, right? Like stews, soups, and so on. And like what my dad used to do is, after having the the family uh, lunch on Sunday and uh, and like the dinner even, a lot of times he fell asleep in the afternoon. He woke up in like late in the evening, and what he did is he he went to the toilet. 
came back without washing his hands and went to the fridge. And he had this habit of crouching down and finding the giant pot of stew that we had in the fridge. And he opened it up, right? And with his fi not even with a, with a fucking like spoon or anything, it was his finger. With his finger, he loved like licking the the inside of the pot, right, where the where the stew touched the the thing. Then you know the stew was in the pot, the leftover stew basically for like two more days, so the family could eat, right. But uh, the the stew was on the on the on the inner on the inner side of the pot, and he used to. Use his finger to clean, basically, the wall of the pot, the inner inner wall of the pot, and lick his finger after going to the, to the toilet. So I was extremely mad at him because of this, and I tried telling him that this is stupid, like, stop, stop doing this, you, you just like, wash your hands and stop it. But he's such a stubborn person. That he he even felt like hurt whenever I, I I told him that this is bad. Like you want to wash your hand. This is stupid. And so one day, he he used to have this. He he, he almost always did this. Like uh, he was like fishing for these pots in the in the fridge. It didn't really really matter whether it was a bigger pot or a smaller one. You could always kind of see his fingerprint all over the the pot. I did not really want to eat from those pots, but I could not do anything else. I was like, blah, blah. it was really bad. I wouldn't touch any pot on the fridge. Yes. So it was, it was really difficult for me as well. So after, I just remember him uh, walking up to me uh, after, not after, like one day, let's say then, and telling me that he went to the doctor and uh, because he, his belly hurt and the doctor said uh, they did some testing and he was sent to, da, 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 to different places and anyways the, the final result was that the doctor said that he had worms surprisingly right he had worms and uh, but I was listening to this story like yes, I did not expect it yeah and uh, he said that but he Decided not to buy the medication because it's expensive. That's what he said, even though it's like, uh, there is not discount. So it's like, uh, supported by the government, uh, the Hungarian government or the authorities. So it's, he could have bought, he could have bought it like much cheaper than the OG price. He didn't, he didn't buy the medication. But he used some kind of a homemade remedy instead of that. And he was so proud of himself. And that's the end of the story. I have no idea what happened to, to those worms. I don't know if he got rid of them or he, if he eventually bought, the, bought the, the medication. But this was something so extremely disgusting that it kind of made me wash my hands so many times a day i kind of have ptsd because of this kind of uh, these kind of things and i wash my hands so so many times actually after basically anything i do at home <laughs> guys always wash your hands this is it's an extreme example but but he even today he does not wash his hands then when i when i talked about this with my mom she said she cannot do anything about it. Uh, and I was like, this is just disgusting. So, well, at some point, I had added a nice layer of chili <laughs> to the inner ring of the pot. That's, uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Garlic juice. I mean, if I, if I uh, had done that, I would have got like, uh, I would have gotten a slap or something, <laughs> I think. So yeah, anyways, let's continue after this beautiful story about my dad ugh, eating like that. So Coca-Cola. I think the antiparasitic drugs are given to the whole family, even if it's just one person having them. I, I didn't know about that. Maybe he didn't care. Maybe he didn't take it that seriously. I didn't even think about it. That's interesting what you're saying. I mean, it makes sense. Oh, okay. 
Wow. Now I have to think. I don't think I have any berms or anything. But... Oh. Delightful, yeah, it was. Alright, let's talk about Coca-Cola. Is there anything more American than Coca-Cola? The fizz, the flavor, the former secret ingredient, cocaine. Coke is basically apple pie in beverage form. And it's not just American. Coke is basically apple pie in beverage form. Into a cuckoo for Coke. Invented by a pharmacist in 1886 Georgia, Coca-Cola quickly caught on overseas. It was the World War II GI's drink of choice. Pre-pandemic, Coca-Cola had 500 brands in over 200 countries, making it the best-selling soft drink and one of the most... I mean, you never know, the last winner might have given you a few. Yeah, God damn it, that last winner was, was so bad. Most recognizable brands of all time. But okay, there will yeah, we know that. Be exceptions. And unlike the other entries on the list, for once, it has nothing to do with health concerns. Everybody knows that Coke is not good for you. We just decided collectively that we don't care. No, the countries that have out... Whoa, what did Trump just... say? The Coca-Cola company is not happy with me. That's okay. I'll just still keep drinking that garbage. <laughs> typical, tr typical Trump. I take pure water over any sugared brew on any day. That's so good for you. I don't like water. I think water is boring. I don't like it. I like water. I don't like water. I mean, you never know. Okay. Uh, okay. But they skipped why it became international. Why did it become international, actually? There will be always expe expectations or exceptions. Sorry. For once, it has nothing to do with healthy concerns. Da -da -da. You don't like water? What in the hell? I, I can't drink it. I don't like it because it's boring. I don't like the taste. I always put some syrup in it. The Coca-Cola Corporation supplied free syrup if the military built took over other factories in other countries during times of war. So in World War II, the, it exploded in Europe. I have never heard of that story. Thank you. Which taste? Uh, it depends on what kind of what mood I am in, actually. Now I have strawberry, strawberry taste, a strawberry flavor. Wow, I, I didn't decided know. collectively that we don't care. No, the countries that have outlawed the brand have done so because of what it represents, a symbol of the encroachment of American capitalism. From 1962 to yep. 2011, the U.S. banned sales of Coke to Burma as part of sanctions against the military junta that ruled the country until 2011. It resumed sales in the country in 2012. Today, Coca-Cola is only unavailable in two countries with long-term trade embargoes with the U.S. North Korea... I wanted to say North Korea. That's not a surprise. Um... Boy, some people are going to be really sorry when there is a global water shortage. Yeah. Hasn't allowed Coke since 1950. And the bubbly beverage has been banned in Cuba since Fidel Castro seized supplies in 1962. Yep. First the prequels, now Coke. Is there anything that can't be ruined by the federalization of trade taxation? In a twist of irony and uh, lime, Cuba was actually one of the first bottlers of the beverage outside of America. Today... Cuba Cola has replaced Coke as the country's soft drink of choice. Oh, it's just so stupid. Though black market sales abound. After all, it is the birthplace of the Cuba Libra, aka the rum and coke. M&M's is not banned in Hungary. Maybe it's like modified. M&M's. The delicious, melt-in-your-mouth, not-in-your-hand snacks were originally a collaboration between the Cyan Sons of the Mars and Hershey Dynasties yeah, in 1941. Again. Like Coca-Cola, M&M's gained international fans during World War II. As American soldiers popularized the candy overseas as the chocolate that won't get your trigger finger all sticky. But you won't find the candy in Sweden, where it's banned due to a trademark conflict with a popular national candy that also features lowercase m's as its signature. And the country protected their own brand, basically. That's what the happened, The popular I guess. national candy that also features lowercase m's as its signature. When Mars introduced the candy to Sweden in 2009, a court ruled its marketing too similar to that of the Norwegian Marabous, which resemble Kit Kats. 
During World War I, Marabou had moved its manufacturing to its Swedish neighbors, where it received a royal warrant of appointment by the King of Sweden. And here we thought the Swiss were the chocolate snobs. Should you want to check out what the- They did so well, yeah, nice. Protect your own brands, countries. That's a good idea. Hello, Buren. Nice to see you. Have a happy birthday. Have a happy new year. You too. The fuss is all about. Marabou's is sold in IKEA stores here in the US. Well, at least it's good to know that M&Ms don't contain any harmful dyes or chlorine residue, right? That's a pretty important victory for hard shelled chocolate. So what do you think? Which of these and food sounds the most delicious. Let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, check out some of these other videos from Weird History Food. That's interesting, actually. I like this video. This was a good video.